Hello! Welcome back to our discussion regarding the electrical installation and maintenance. So, narito na tayo sa ating last lesson, lesson number 4, the electrical signs and symbols. So, uh, the, uh, the objectives, objectives for today's lesson is you should be able to read and interpret electrical signs, symbols, and data, analyze electrical components and materials based on electrical signs, symbols, and data, and read blueprints of electrical plants, diagrams, and circuits. Okay? So, familiar ba kayo sa picture na ito? Saan natin siya madalas nakikita? Tama, sa kalsada. Diba? Meron tayong nakikita no parking, ayan, kagaya nga, no entry, or use ped pedestrian crossing. Diba? Ano pa? Uh, do not blow a horn. Diba? School zone. Ano ba yung mga tinutukoy o para saan ba ang mga bagay na ito? Ano sa tingin niyo? Ito ay tinatawag nating mga road signs and symbols sa kung saan binibigyan tayo ng babala tungkol doon sa mga posibleng maging uh, hazards na mangyari doon sa specific na lugar na iyon. Diba? It serves as our guide kung ano ang dapat natin gawin sa lugar na iyon. So, ganun din sa electrical, meron tayong mga sinusunod na signs and symbols na kung saan tinutulungan tayo maging tama yung ilalagay nating symbols sa ating drawings, sa electrical plants, and sa wiring diagrams. Okay? And binabalaan din tayo nito sa mga posibleng hindi magandang pangyayaring mangyari doon sa site. So, we have the electrical symbols. So, these symbols are small drawings or pictograms used to represent various electrical devices in a diagram or plan of an electrical circuit. So, these symbols are used in sketching, schematic diagrams, and electrical plans for numerous types of electrical works. Diba? So, it is practically any electrical fixtures found in a house that has a symbol that coincides to the said fixture on an electrical wiring diagram. And these are very useful guide for an electrician or electrical contractor that's making the wiring easier to install as well. Okay? So, halimbawa, bumbilya. Paano ba natin dinodrawing ang bumbilya? Diba? Madalas, para lang siyang hugis bilog or hugis itlog. Pero, pagdating sa wiring diagram at sa electrical plan, hindi ganoon siya i-represent mayroong dedicated na symbol para sa kanya para mas madaling maintindihan ng electrician kung anong uring electrical fixture ba iyon. Okay, halimbawa na lang ang antena, ang battery, ang ating metro sa bahay, ang speaker, mayroon niyang kanya-kanyang symbol na nagre-represent sa kanila. Okay, so these are the common electrical symbols. So we have the conductor or the wire. So, ito ang wire symbol. Diba? So, it used to connect the components in a circuit. Kaya, gano'n man kakapal, gano'n man kanipis, gano'n man kulay niyan, ganito ang kanyang simbolo sa, wire, sa electrical diagram. Okay? So, kapag nakakonect naman ang dalawang wire, kapag na-splice natin siya, ito ang kanyang simbol. Diba? So, merong bilog sa gitna. At kapag siya naman ay magkahiwalay pero nag-cross uh, nag silang dalawa, ganito ang kanyang itsura. Diba? So, hindi mo siya pwedeng idiretsyo. Once na dinerecho mo na siya, mapagkakamalan natin siya connected wire. Kailangan mag-jump yung line na iyon bago siya tumuloy sa kanyang uh, susunod na drawing. Okay? So, that is a conductor or wire. Next, we have the switch symbols. So, it is a device for making and breaking the connection in an electrical circuit. So, lahat ng bahay merong switch. Diba? So, this is an example of a switch kapag gagamitin natin sa wiring diagram. At ito naman kapag sa electrical plan. So, electrical plan na tinutukoy natin ay para siyang blueprint ng bahay na kung saan doon nakadrawing ang Itsura ng ang floor plan ng bahay at saan nakapwesto ang mga ilaw 
ang mga pumbilya as well as the sockets o yung saksakan at mga switch. So, ito ang symbol na ginagamit natin sa electrical hand. Okay, nakalagay dyan, S1. Diba? So, that is only single switch. Pag yan ay naging S2, yun naman ay magiging uh, double switch. So, yung dalawang switch. Diba? Two gang kung tawagin natin. Kapag three naman ay three gang or three switches. So, this is an example of a two gang switch. So, magiging S2 yan kapag dalawang switch. Okay? Next one, we have the power supply symbols. Ang most common power supply na meron tayo ay cell, which is a single unit of device which converts chemical energy to an electrical energy. And it is usually light and compact as it has a single unit only. And the battery, which consists of group of cells. Specifically, it has sing single cells. It can be a primary or secondary battery, meaning it can be rechargeable or non-rechargeable. Diba? Ang cell na familiar tayo ay yung battery na tinatawag natin sa bahay. Diba? Ito siya. Diba? Ang cell na ito ay pwede siyang pwede niyang bigyan ng kuryente ang isang bagay for a short period of time only. While the battery can power an equipment an electrical fixture for a very long time. Diba? So, madalas ginagamit natin ng cell sa orasan, sa mga laruan, sa remote, di ba? So, yan ang purpose ng cell. So, pang, pang uh, sandali lang ang buhay ng bawat cell. Kasi nga, single unit lang siya. While the battery ay grupo ng cell. Na kung saan kaya nga mag-power ng mas matagal kaysa sa normal na cell. So, madalas nakikita ang battery sa uh, kotse, sa aircon, yung mga yun. It powers, a, it powers a, an electrical fixture for a very long time. Next, we have the antenna. So, bawat bahay sa ngayon ay meron na antenna o gumagamit ng antenna. So, it is an electrical device which converts electric power into a radio waves and vice versa. Iba ang ating TV kapag hindi siya nakakonect sa cable, meron siya antenna para makasagap tayo ng free TV. Diba? Ano pa? Ang ating radio, of course, gumagamit ng antenna. Because the antenna converts electric power into radio waves. Kaya tayo nakakasagap ng balita, ng mga music from radio stations. So, this is its symbol at ito ang kanyang itsura. Next, we have the resistor. Ang resistor reduces or limits the current flow. So, ito ang example ng resistor. Diba? So, mapapansin nyo, color-coded siya. Iba-iba ang kanya kulay. At bawat kulay ay mayroon ni represent na numero. Diba? So, ang bawat resistor na yan ay iba't iba ang kanyang value. Diba? May umaabot ng 1,000, may umaabot ng hundreds lamang. So, ito naman ang kanyang symbol. Next, the capacitor. So, the capacitor used to store electric charge. Since it stored electric charge, madalas kinagamit ang capacitor sa cellphones at iba't ibang uri pa ng appliances. Diba? So, ito ay example ng isang capacitor at ang kanyang symbol. Next, we have the ammeter. It is a measuring instrument, again, to measure the current in a circuit. Diba? So, this is an example of ammeter and its symbol. While the voltmeter measures the voltage in a circuit. So, yan ang example ng voltmeter. Galvanometer naman ay, uh, ay isang electromechanical measuring instrument na ginagamit sa electric current. And the wattmeter is an instrument for measuring the electric power or the supply rate of an electrical energy in watts of any given circuit. And the kilowatt hour meter is the electric meter that measures the amount of electrical energy in kilowatt hour that was consumed in the house. So, ito yung madalas na nakikita natin sa labas ng bahay na sinusukat ng isang electric company. Halimbawa na lang ay Meralco. Diba? Diyan natin nakikita kung gaano ba kalaking konsumo na kuryente. 
meron tayo. Next, we have the outlet symbols. So, first is the duplex convenience outlet. It is a receptacle in a wall or baseboard for connection to lamps or other electrical appliances. So, yan na halimbawa ng duplex convenience outlet. Ay siya tayo duplex kasi dalawa ang kanyang saksakan. The weatherproof outlet is a particular type of electrical outlet that is designed for installation outside the home. Diba? So, kaya siya naging weatherproof kasi gumagamit siya ng kanyang special type ng pantake. Diba? Pamprotekta sa ulan. And the floor outlet, from the word itself, floor ginagamit sa floor. So, an electrical outlet whose face is level with or recess to a floor. Okay. Ang outlet naman ay hindi lang madalas na nakikita sa pader, pwede rin siya sa sahig. Next, we have the lamp or light bulb symbols. So, it generates light when current flows to it. Diba? We have the incandescent lamp. Yan ang kanyang symbol. We have the lamp or light bulb and the fluorescent lamp. Diba? So, ang madalas ating ginagamit sa drawing ay ito. Okay. Next one, miscellaneous uh, components. We have the mail plug. So, halos lahat ng electrical component meron tayo. Name it, meron niyang electrical, oh, mail plug. So, it is an electrical device with two or three pins that is inserted in a socket to make an electrical connection. Ito yan ang kanyang example. Sa natin nakikita, sa laptop, sa printer, sa electric fan, sa charger, ang lahat yan merong mail light. Next, we have the fuse. So, fuse disconnects when current above threshold. So, it is used to protect circuit from high currents. So, ito ang example ng fuse. So, uh, sa sakyan, meron, tayo, meron din tayong ginagamit na fuse. Circuit breaker. So, it is an automat automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detect uh, detected. So, matik siyang Uh, nagdi-disconnect kapag nagkaroon na short circuit. Okay? And electric bell. It is an instrument used to measure electrical pressure or voltage of a circuit. So, the unit of measure is volt. This is connected across or parallel to the circuit. Okay. So, that is an example of electrical. Next one is the buzzer which is a kind of voice device that converts audio model into a sound signal. It's mainly used to probe an alarm. Yan ang buzzer. Speaker is a device for converting electrical energy into an acoustical energy that is radiated into a room or open air. Diba? Lahat ng speaker na alam nyo ay ganito ang kanyang itsura sa loob. At ito naman ang kanyang simple. Next, so move on to the electrical science. So electrical science alerts students, workers, and visitors to any electrical hazards uh, in the area. A picture symbol intended to alert or instruct you how to avoid a potentially hazardous condition. And knowing and understanding these symbols will help you operate your tool better and more safely. So we have here the caution and safety alert na kung saan madalas natin siya nakikita sa site. So, what are the common electrical signs? First, we have the caution which indicates some precautionary measures against potential hazard situation which, if avoided, may result to a minor or moderate injury. So, madalas kapag nakakita tayo ng ganito, binabaliwala lang. Diba? In, uh, which is in case na hindi naman dapat Kailangan kapag nakakita tayo ng caution sa anumang lugar na mapupuntahan natin, kailangan meron tayong uh, pag-iingat pa pa papunta sa lugar na yun. O kung may iwasan, huwag nang dumaan at tumanap ng alternative na dadaan. Next, we have the safety alert. So, it indicates that a person should observe extra awareness. 
Next, the prohibition. It means that any activity is not allowed as stated by the symbol. Diba kahit naman sa kalsada, makakita tayo ng ganito, na may cross, sabihin, bawal, no entry. Bawal tumasok. So, sa electrical, meron tayo yung ganyan symbol, which is the prohibition na kung saan, ano man ang gawin mo sa loob, ng lugar na yan, ng kapaskil yan, ay bawal gawin. Because it prohibits you to do that. Okay? Next one is the danger and warning signs. It specifies a zardo situation which if not avoided will result to a serious injury or even death. Ba kaya nga ang kulay niya ay pula at orange para mas madali siyang makita sa malayo na kahit man gabi mo siya makita ay nagre-reflect ang kanyang kulay sa ilaw. Diba? So kailangan kapag nakakita na tayo ng ganito ay dobleng ingat at kung maaari wag tayong tumuloy. Next, we have the Read and Understand Instruction Manual. It means that a person should make some reading before doing any activity. Next, we have the Wear Eye Protection. Indicates that a person should wear safety goggles or any related protection for the eyes. The Electrical Hazard indicates that electrical hazard is present in the area. So, kapag nakakita na tayo ng high voltage keep out, lumayo na tayo. Kasi posibleng na-accidente tayo at possible na tayo ay makuryente. At maging dahilan ng ating pagkamata. And the last one, we have the voltage danger. It indicates that high voltage in the area and surrounding equipment. So, lumayo na tayo sa mga ganitong symbols. Okay? Or ganitong signs. Kasi, ipiniprevent nila tayo doon sa mga potential na hazardous situation na pwede natin kahinat na. Okay? So, let's have another quiz. So, direction is to fill out the grid with at least 5 electrical symbols and write their description. And the activity B, you need to draw the signs of the following. Okay? So, you need to pause this video for you to answer this activity. And the next slide will be the key the answers. Okay, so before we end our lesson, let's have another words to ponder. Education is one of the key to success. Okay, so marami pang ibang ingredient para tayo ay maging successful sa buhay. At isa na doon ay ang pag-aaral. And that's it for our lesson. So I hope you learned something and see you on our next discussion. Bye!